This man slept for 17 years and woke up to find the world a different place. He has become the last human being on Earth. What has happened to make the world look like this? It turns out that 17 years ago, World War III broke out and the world was in shambles. The defeated nations were not happy with their defeat and finally activated the nuclear button. All the nuclear weapons were unleashed and the world was swept away by an explosion. The vast majority of humanity was wiped out, with only a few elite surviving by hiding in a doomsday fortress. They had to wait for decades for the radiation to disappear and then wake up to continue the civilization. 17 years have passed. The Sunset Fortress is running out of energy. So the system starts a wake-up call. The hull begins to drain out and the yellow warning light flashes continuously. The man's sleeping chamber slowly opens and he slowly rises and removes his mask, his limbs very numb from the long slumber. He climbed out of the hibernation chamber with great difficulty and took a long time to recover. He stood up and looked around him, finding no sign of any of his comrades. The alarm suddenly sounded and he had to be evacuated immediately. The man hurriedly put on his suit and grabbed his weapon and climbed out of the doomsday fortress. The moment he emerged. He was stunned by what he saw, and a bustling city had been reduced to a pile of rubble. The ground had caved in. There was rubble everywhere, and detectors showed no sign of life around. Although 17 years have passed, the radiation levels on the surface are still too high. He was told to go to an emergency rendezvous point. The journey is cautious, even surrounded by rubble. He does not let his guard down to find survivors and to prevent the appearance of the enemy. In the last edition of the human newspaper, the headlines describe the war he had stepped over. Finally, he arrives at the rendezvous point, a dilapidated military base. He enters the building and looks around. He finds a red telephone, but there is no signal and no clues around him. He walked out of the building with no choice but to use his detector again to search for potential survivors, but there was still no sign of life. He grabbed his binoculars and looked around. But but there was nothing but rubble. It was raining heavily and his heart was heavy. The fear of being alone made him stop worrying about radiation. He took off his mask and breathed in the air, feeling the rain lapping at his face. He hadn't breathed freely for 17 years. At that moment, a signal appears from the instrument and hope is rekindled. The man runs excitedly towards the location of the signal, but is soon disappointed. All he found were the remains of his teammates. He vented his anger and finally buried his teammate. He makes a tombstone out of his helmet and weapon, then wanders on through the ruins of the city. By now a whole day had passed. The stress and hunger had left him exhausted. He found a can of dog food to fill his stomach and wondered how much longer he could go on. He tries to shave himself for the first time in 17 years, and possibly the last time. At this point his instrument runs out of juice and he sits down on the floor. After a while he decided to make one last effort. He went to the top of the building and released a flare into the sky, and watched it burn out in the sky. Time passed. Hope died and he was overwhelmed with despair and depression. He felt like he was the last human being on Earth. Just then, a flare burst into the sky in the distance, as if it had sparked a fire in his heart. He couldn't wait to find out if any of his teammates were still alive. The closer he got to the target the slower his pace became, his special forces training restoring his vigilance. He soon spotted the target, an enemy soldier hiding behind a ruined car. He chose to detour around the back, but as he got closer he realized it was just a helmet. Obviously it was a trap, and the real enemy was already hiding behind him and aiming at him. He turned back to the enemy, and on on closer inspection it was a female soldier. After a period of confrontation, the man seems to understand something. If the country no longer existed, why be enemies? They were the last hope of humanity, a modern version of Adam and Eve. The two men put aside their status as enemies and lived together from then on. They have a great mission to continue the civilization of mankind. This is an anti-war, apocalyptic short film. The civilization that mankind has spent so much time developing is destroyed by his own hands. The film is extremely depressing, lonely and desperate. At the end of the film the man meets the heroine. It is also a sign that God is giving mankind a second chance.